Hey, I'm Vanessa Joy, wedding and portrait photographer in the New York, New Jersey area, and we are going to play a little game here where we're gonna play with two different 50 millimeter lenses on two very different DSLR cameras and switch and swap them all around and see what's better or what makes more of a difference, the camera or the lens. Make sure that you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything else here on this channel. And this is Juliana, our gorgeous model today. <laughs> so first off the bat, I kind of have the typical setup, you know, the lens that you would expect to see on each of these cameras. I have the 1DX Mark III with the EF 50mm 1.2. And I have the Canon Rebel T7 with the EF 50mm 1.8. Wild price difference in both of these uh, setups here. So we're gonna take a picture with each of them. We're gonna keep to same exact settings the entire time. So I've got white balance dialed into 7,000 Kelvin on the Rebel. That just means it's the shady preset because you can't dial in the Kelvins. And we have ISO 100, 250th on the shutter and 2.2 on the aperture. So let's get shooting. I've got a lot coming for you, but first a little freebie. Download my free posing inspiration guide. You can download it in the link in the description below. I love your stance. Perfect. Get a little lean. Roll your shoulder back so you can actually like do this really exaggerated. And it got a little brighter out here, but so I'm going to go up to 320. Love how you looked up like that. That's really pretty. Nice. Let's do a little live view shooting so we can just track her eyes, which is definitely a benefit of this camera. Love it. You can go ahead and look out that way again. Nice. Way to rattle the doors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's switch. We're gonna come over to this camera. We're gonna bump up the shutter speed because I did that on there. We wanna keep the same type of thing. Now this is a crop sensor, so you're gonna notice that these pictures are a little bit tighter. Definitely something to consider. And just for fun, let's get some a little bit closer up and I'm gonna throw in the reflector that I have here. This is the Lasso Light Tri-Grip with the white, um, it's called something, white reflector, <laughs> white skin, they call it skins. Nice. Perfect, let's grab with the other camera and then we'll switch the lenses and shoot again and see what we get. I left that on live view, nice. So notice the difference here. We're just gonna take one without, and then when we bring it in, just filling in her shadows a little bit. Actually, I'd love that. Stay right there, come a little closer to the uh, door. Yep. Nice. Let's go crazy and switch these lenses now. So we're gonna take this 1.2 and put it on the Rebel and put the 1.8 on the DSLR. It looks like funny town in here now <laughs> with the way that these lenses look. But all right, let's see what we get. So we'll start off with the 1DX. I wonder how the focusing actually works. Yeah, it still works with the uh, live view and head detection and eye detection. Maybe not like as smooth. Nice. So I'm just trying to get a little foreground. That looks great. Gorgeous. And just get a couple more. Actually, let me come this way. Perfect. Nice. All right, now let's see how this lens performs on the camera. I'm like nervous about it being right there, but oh, this is funny feeling. <laughs> nice. You know what would be fun? Let me try this. Kind of tilt down, almost like you're looking at your shoes. Yep. Am I looking at them? No, you don't have to. <laughs> yep. Perfect. And let me do a couple more like that, but with the little lens on the big camera. Live use of this tracks nicely. Sorry, Rob. 
perfect. Let me get a little closer to you. Cool. So here's what I didn't tell you in the beginning of this. I'm not going to tell you what I think is better. I'm going to put pictures side by side. I'm going to put numbers on them and you are going to guess which picture was shot with which camera and which lens. So here are the four photos, each with a different lens and camera combination. These are raw straight out of camera. Let's go ahead and throw them into Lightroom. I am going to edit these and I have cropped a couple of them just to make them very consistent. And so you can't go back in the video and look at which pictures were which. Although I will give you a hint, there is one that's sort of a dead giveaway. All right, so I'm just editing all of these with my Joyfully Simple preset and then heading over to my local adjustment brushes to quickly smooth out the skin, pop the eyes, pop the lashes, and try to even out the color tone in all of them. So here's the final result and a little bit of a before and after. Let me know which one that you think belongs to each lens and camera combination. Tell me in the comments below using the numbers and I'm going to pick a winner, three winners actually, from the correct answers to win my book, The Off-Camera Flash Handbook. And I will let you know in the comments. Good luck. We compared different lenses, different cameras. We're gonna find out whether it's all about the lens or all about the camera, or who knows, maybe it's all about nothing, so. <laughs> Hit like, subscribe, leave your guesses and comments, and I will see you next time.